The other option is to remove the front flasher from the front of the bike. Now to do this, we're going to start by removing the front garnish. Release the rubber gasket from around the mirror and push the mirror down and forward. You should now be able to locate a single 10 millimeter bolt on each side. It's a good idea to stuff a rag inside this area so that when you remove this bolt, it doesn't accidentally fall down into the shelter. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, go ahead and loosen this bolt enough so that you can then finish removing it using your fingers. There is a washer attached to it also. You just want to be careful not to drop these down into the shelter and that's kind of why we have that rag in place. Once the bolt's removed, you'll notice a rubber grommet. Go ahead and remove that and set it aside as well. Move both windscreen height levers in the up position. Release the rubber tabs on the mirror boots from the front garnish. Now on each side you can lift the garnish tab off of the post and that will release it uh, on each side. And then there's simply two grommets that hold the garnish in place on the very front toward the bottom. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the plastic guard. The windshield holder plate is held in place with two 10 millimeter nuts and one 8 millimeter bolt. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the 10 millimeter nuts on each side of the holder plate. Remove the single 8 millimeter bolt from the front of the holder plate. Now you can gently remove the holder plate and set it off to the side. Now my Goldwing windshield is held in place with two screws on the outside, two on the inside, and Yours may actually have two additional screws. Uh, these will all need to be removed before we can remove the windshield. Now while I'm taking these screws out, I may also mention you notice a bunch of wires hanging around on my bike. You may not have all that. Those are for some other accessories that I've been testing. So don't be concerned if you don't see these wires on your bike. Now as you remove the last screw, make sure be careful to hold on to the windshield. You don't want to just fall off and grab it and carefully set it aside so that it doesn't get scratched. Next, we need to release the meter panel. You don't need to remove it completely. Just pull up firmly at the back. There's two uh, pins and grommets that hold it in place. And then there's a series of little tabs around the edges that, that hold it in. Just kind of wiggle it and pull on it and be careful and it will pull loose. You do not need to disconnect the tweeters or remove the panel. We just need it loosened for this process. There are eight 5 millimeter hex bolts that hold the meter panel visor in place and we need to go ahead and loosen these. There are also four screws, two on each side, and two push pins in the front. So let's go ahead and use a 5 millimeter hex wrench to remove these eight bolts. Once these bolts have been removed and set aside, you can then use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the four Phillips screws. There are also two plastic push pins on the front that you simply pull up firmly and they'll come loose. And lastly, there's a single Phillips screw on each side of the meter panel visor that needs to be removed. With all the fasteners removed, you can now very gently lift up on this meter visor panel. You don't want to raise it up too far because you could break off some little tabs. So be careful, just be very gent gentle. And then I always shove some little microfiber cloths underneath just to kind of hold it in place. Now the next part is virtually impossible to videotape because it's in such tight quarters. But underneath this vertical frame member in the front of the bike, you're going to locate the stock OEM flasher. And we're going to remove that. And it's actually held in place. It's got a little piece of rubber slipped over a metal tab. And you can slide it off, unplug it. This is what it looks like. And you're going to basically replace it with the LED flasher unit. 